Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. For today, I am going to do another comparisons video. And this time naman, ang pag-uusapan natin ay itong mga face mist or facial sprays na meron ako. So, kung gusto nyong malaman kung ano yung thoughts ko for these products, just keep on watching. So guys, baka nagtataka kayo bakit puro comparisons video ang ginagawa ko dito sa aking channel. It's because itong mga products na to, matagal na sila sa market or meron mang ilan nilan dito like itong si Sun Glow tsaka si BLK. Fairly new pa sila sa market. So, madami na gumawa ng mga in-depth review dito sa YouTube. So, ko na lang sa inyo sabihin kung ano yung um, pagkaka iba nila. So, parang all-in-one na tong video na to. So, hindi to yung sobrang in-depth review. So, kung naghahanap kayo mismo ng in-depth review for a specific product, you can search na lang here sa YouTube. Aking skin type pala ay dry skin before. And now, since officially summer na sa amin, talagang mainit na, nakikita ko na yung T-zone area ko talaga ay nag-oil up na. And itong aking lower cheek area ay dry pa rin. So, basically, combination skin ako. And also, this Disclaimer lang guys, before kong i-start yung ating comparisons review. Mga products na meron ako dito, tried and tested ko na sila. Ginamit ko sila with or without makeup. And also, honest to goodness ang ating pag-review. Always keep that in mind that these products na i-mention ko sa inyo, it may or it may not work for you. Now, let's proceed na sa ating comparisons review video. Umpisahan ko muna ipakita sila sa inyo one by one. And ito yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating um, products. Doon muna tayo sa pinakaumpisang na-try ko na, which is itong si Lux Organ. Hydro Firming Mist and ito naman yung isang si Skin Mattifying Mist. Second naman na itong si BLK Cosmetics Skin Hydrating Ultra Fine Mist. Next na itong si Lux Organics Beauty Mist by Anne Clutes. And last but not the least ay itong si Sun Glow by Fresh Sun Mist. So itong si Lux Organics na Hydro Firming Mist, ubus talaga siya. As inagamit ko talaga siya. Let's proceed muna sa pinaka-basic, which is yung packaging niya. So, dito muna tayo kay Lux Organics. Ito guys, tatlo yung variant na meron sila, pero dalawa lang yung kinuha ko or binili ko nung nasa Pilipinas ako. At ganito yung itsura nila. So, kung makita nyo, yung variant ni Hydro Firming Mist ay kulay blue, tapos itong kay Skin Mattifying ay kulay green. Both of them nasa plastic na container, and meron din silang plastic na cap. And this what you can see, and dito yung mismong brand. And then, nandito din kung ano yung um, parang claims nila, yung parang pinaka key ingredients din nila. And, and also, it's stated here na these are all perfect for all skin types. Naman sa likod, guys, and dito yung claims and benefits nila, how to use, dito din yung manufacturing date, expiration date. Once you open this, may expire siya 12 months upon opening. The retail price of these is 229 pesos, 100 ml yung dami niya, and this is made in Korea. Before ko pala makalimutan guys, may kasama tong box kapag bibili. Next naman ay itong CBLK, Skin Hydrating Ultra Fine Mist. Looking at it guys, maliit lang siya. And kung makikita nyo, mas malaki pa yung kamay ko as compared dito kay BLK Mist. And para siyang mint green yung kulay niya. Tapos it says here BLK. And then dito naman sa likod, andyan yung kanyang claims and benefits. Yung kanyang mismong packaging, plastic lang siya. And ito parang it mimics like a glass cap. Pero basically this is just a plastic cap. And ganito yung itsura ng kanyang spray nozzle. Also guys, ito pa lang kay Lux Organics, hindi siya nabubuksan. As compared as dito, nabubuksan to guys. So, ayan, ganyan yung itsura niya. Ito naman, 449 pesos to for 60 ml and made in Taiwan siya. Next naman ay itong Lux Organics Beauty Mist by Anne Clutes. Ito yung itsura ng kanyang packaging. Kung makikita nyo, frosted plastic siya. It may mix like a frosted glass. Tapos it says here, Lux Organics Beauty Mist by Anne Clutes. Tapos meron dito nakalagay makeup setting spray, long lasting, hydrating, glowing. 100 ml siya guys, made in Korea as well. And dito sa likod, andyan yung kanyang claims and benefits, how to use, yung caution. And andito din yung kanyang ingredients. Meron siyang kasamang plastic cap and ganito yung itsura ng kanyang spray nozzle or nozzle spray. 
Next naman ay itong si Sun Glow by Fresh Sun Mist. Ganito yung itsura niya guys. Napakita ko na to sa aking mismong review. And ito naman guys, nasa plastic na lalagyan siya. Tapos meron siya parang frosted sticker. Na parang it mimics din yung frosted na glass. Tapos meron siyang dual cap. And actually guys, ilang beses ko na to nabagsak. Nagkaroon ng chip itong mismong pink na cap niya, yung pinaka-outer part na cap niya. And then, ganito yung itsura mismo nung kanyang spray nozzle. Dito sa front part, nakalagay dyan yung Sun Glow by Fresh, Sun Mist, tapos yung kanyang claims. Also, nandito din guys, yung kanyang claims and benefits, ingredients, um, how to use, caution, and meron siya dito ang expiration date. Hindi ko pala nabanggit sa inyo guys, itong si Beauty Mist, 379 pesos. While ito namang si Sun Mist, 100 ml din, made in Korea, and 299 pesos. Lahat na naipakita ko sa inyo guys, kung papipiliin nyo ako, kung sino sa kanila yung pinaka-travel friendly, of course, itong si BLG. Kasi sobrang liit talaga niya. Ang pinaka-matangkad kasi sa kanila, itong si Sun Mist. Pero kapag tinanggal nyo to guys, halos magkasing tangkad lang sila nitong si Lux Organics. Ngayon naman pag-usapan natin yung claims and benefits nila. First ay itong si Hydro Firming Mist. This one, yung key ingredients niya ay collagen and hyaluronic acid. It helps to keep the skin stay supple and moistured while collagen promotes skin elasticity and firmness. Can be used before or after makeup. So ano ba guys yung collagen? Bigyan lang natin ng onting parang recap kung ano tong mga to yung mga ingredients ito. These are just based on my research sa online. Collagen kasi guys, yung body natin nagpo-produce talaga naturally ng collagen. And collagen is really good to fight yung mga signs of aging. Actually guys, di ba yung collagen na rinig natin sa mga beauty products o kaya naman sa mga popular supplements na meron tayo sa market. It helps to reduce visible wrinkles yung ating mga fine lines then is good to improve our skin elasticity. Si hyaluronic acid naman, it has healing properties and also, okay na okay din siya to fight signs of aging. And kung meron kayong dry skin, hyaluronic acid is very good to keep your moisture dito sa inyong mismong skin. Next naman ay itong si Skin Mattifying Mist. Ang kanyang key ingredients ay tea tree extract and ito ang sabi dito, this is an anti-pollution and anti-sebum. So ito naman guys, ang claims dito, it helps to keep the skin look mattified and shine free while helping to reduce the appearance of excess oil and protection against harmful pollutants. This can be used also before or after makeup. Ito naman guys, ang kanyang key ingredients ay si tea tree extract. Si tea tree extract guys, na-explain sa akin ton maigi ng aking doktor kasi meron akong um, psoriasis. Tea tree extract guys, it is very good kasi it has anti-inflammatory and anti-microbial properties or ingredients. It is also very good to treat blemishes, pimples, and acne. And nakakatulong din ito para mas smoothen out or ma clear out yung ating skin. And also, yung tea tree extract naman, katulad sa dry skin na katulad ko, um, yun, nakakatulong siya to reduce yung irritation tsaka yung pagiging itchy or yung makate. Next naman na itong si BLK. It says here, this is on-the-go skin hydrator suits, hydrates, and refreshes skin with a gentle cocktail of watermelon extracts and hyaluronic acid sealing in moisture for a dewy and gleamy complexion. So dito guys, ang key ingredients siya ay hyaluronic acid which is very good to keep up our skin hydrated and moisturized ng maigi. And also yung watermelon extract. Nag-research ako guys. Um, wala akong makita sa mismong website nila about the watermelon extract. Pero based on my re research, it says here, watermelon extract is good to soothe irritated skin, hydrates, and deliver essential vitamins and amino acids. So maganda din pala yung skincare benefits ng watermelon extract. Next naman ay itong si Lux Organics na Beauty Mist by Anne Klutz. It says here, this is a lightweight yet gives your makeup a long-lasting and smooth finish with additional benefits of galactomyces extracts. It helps add in moisture to give you a healthy glowing skin. So simply spritz it across your pre-applied makeup to lock into place. So ito guys, this is 
a long-lasting, hydrating and glowing makeup setting spray. So, it is enriched with Galactomyces Extract, which is, alam naman natin, it can help to brighten up our uneven skin tone. Next naman, guys, ay itong si Sun Mist. It says here, this is enriched with Centella Asiatica, Niacinamide, and Sunflower Oil. And meron siyang SPF 50, PA++++. And yung mga key ingredients niya, guys, si Centella Asiatica kasi it says here, boost antioxidants that helps treat skins and purifies for a rapid healing process. So, good remedy kasi yun for burns si Centella Asiatica. Si Sunflower Oil naman promotes moisture, retention, and the skin. So, very good siya to keep emollient yung iyong skin. And then, yung niacinamide naman improves pore appearance and even skin tone, fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. Medyo nakaka-overwhelm, di ba guys, pakinggan yung mga key ingredients at saka yung mga claims and benefits fits ng mga um, facial spray or face mist na ito. So, ako talaga, hinahanap ko talaga ng maigi ay yung merong skincare benefits. And sa akin, guys, since ngayon talaga sobrang init na, malaking factor sa akin na yung ilalagay ko sa mukha ay may added sun protection. Kaya kung tatanungin nyo ako dito sa mga nabasa kong claims and benefits na meron tong mga products na to, definitely ang gusto ko talaga ay itong skincare benefit ni Sun Mist. Also guys, dito sa mga claims and benefits nila, pwede daw sila gamitin before or after makeup. Pasadahan ko lang guys itong category na to, bibilisan ko lang. Yung consistency na category, baka kasi may magtanong ano ba ang consistency ng mga facial spray or face mist. Basically, they are just water-like na consistency pero meron silang depth o parang meron silang um, texture ng onte or thickness ng onte as compared as to plain water. Now, let's proceed naman sa kanilang scent. So, unahin ko na tong dalawa, itong si Lux Organics na Hydro Firming Mist and itong si Skin Mattifying Mist. Both of them, meron silang fresh scent, yung parang bagong ligong amoy, ganon. And they are tolerable sa pang-amoy. Also, kapag in-spray nyo na sila, mawawala din sila or mag-fade. Next naman na itong si BLK Wonder Melon. Ito guys, meron siyang artificial fruity or parang candy fruity na scent. Medyo tolerable siya pero pag napadami kayo ng lagay, medyo masakit siya sa ilong. Ako kasi guys, meron akong sensitive height of smell. So, um, natotolerate ko pa naman siya pero minimake sure ko na sakto lang talaga yung ilalagay ko. Minsan kasi diba napapadami tayo ng lagay. So guys, medyo tolerable naman siya but this one fades after a while. So, siguro mga after 10 minutes, nung in-spray ko siya, dun ko palang napansin na nag-fade na yung amoy ng watermelon niya. At ang Silox Organics Beauty Mist naman, meron din siyang fresh scent. Tolerable siya sa pang-amoy ko kahit na medyo napasobra ako sa pag-spray or pag-mist sa aking face. And ito naman, it fades after a while. So, after niyong mag-mist, siguro mga ilang minuto, nawawala na rin yung amoy niya or hindi ko na naaamoy yung mismong mist. Ito naman guys, itong si Sun Glow by Fresh na Sun Mist. Sa kanilang lahat sa mga nabanggit ko, ito talaga yung may pinakamatapang na amoy. Ito kasi guys, since this is more of like a skincare product and basically this is a sunscreen na mist type. Ito guys, yung pinapapadami yung lagay ko kasi I really wanted to protect my skin from the harmful rays. Ang tendency pag napadami ako at nasingot ko, masakit talaga sa ilong. Siguro kung ilang spray lang, medyo tolerable siya pero kapag mapapadami ka pa beyond doon, Ayun, medyo masakit na siya sa ilong. And also guys, nag-try kasi ako mag-spray dito sa aking back of my hand. Tapos nagugas ako ng kamay. Medyo naamoy ko pa rin siya. So definitely sa kanilang lahat, ito talaga yung may pinakamatapang na scent. Siyempre, as a consumer, these are based on my experience. Meron sa ibang tao na kapag gumamit sila nito, okay lang sa kanila sa pangamoy nila. Ngayon naman guys, pag-usapan natin yung face mist dispenser or yung kanilang spray nozzle. Gagawa ako ng sample guys. I know this is a little bit of messy sticker kasi yan tinanggal ko. So magsasample tayo dito guys para makita nyo kung ano yung itsura nung pag-dispense ng mga product. So ito kasi guys, si Hydro Firming Mist, ubus na talaga as in naubos ko siya. So dito na lang tayo kay Skin Mattifying. Mist. So, isasample ko sila sa inyo guys para at least makita nyo. So, again, this is the Skin Mattifying Mist and also yung Hydro Firming Mist. Next naman na itong CBLK Cosmetics. 
Next naman ay itong si Lux Organics Beauty Mist. Next naman ay itong si Sun Mist. So, itong mga to guys, si Lux Organic Skin Mattifying Mist at si Hydro Firming Mist, the same lang sila. Parehas lang sila, magkaiba lang ng variant. So, itong mga to guys, nabili ko nung October pa. Hindi ko alam kung nagbago na ba sila ng um, spray nozzle, yung mismong nakalagay dito sa taas. Pero ako, with my experience, this is a little too aggressive for my liking. Hindi ko siya guys, mai-recommend gamitin for makeup. Kung gusto nyong gamitin to ako, sa totoo lang, hindi ko siya ma-recommend. Kasi guys, ilang beses ko siya na-try, naka full face makeup on ako, naka foundation ako, nag-bake ako ng mukha with um, a loose setting powder. And kapag ini-spray ko siya guys, meron siyang small water droplets. And kapag nag-stick siya sa aking face na may makeup, nag-iiwan siya ng parang mga small dots of patches, which ang hirap ng i-blend out kasi wala, natuyo na siya ng ganun. So, ako talaga, guys, iniiwasan ko tong gamitin as my uh, makeup setting spray kapag ako ay naka full face makeup on. But, kung naka lip and cheek tint lang ako, kilay, wala akong base makeup, kunyari tone up cream lang, okay naman siyang gamitin, guys. Ito si BLK. Um, ito, nung unang beses ko siyang inispray, ganun lang itsura niya. As in, parang diretsong... <laughs> kung ma-imagine nyo nagulat na ako sabi ko kala ko ba fine mist to pero isang diretso lang siya lumabas pero siguro kasi bago pa lang siya nung unang gamit ko sa kanya before pero ito guys definitely this is a fine mist yun nga lang guys ang medyo ano ko sa kanya is that hindi siya ganun ka disperse magbuga or maglabas nung product ito namang si Lux Organics Beauty Mist definitely it is a very fine mist as in ito talaga sa kanilang lahat yung pinaka pino na mag-dispense ng um, water droplets. Ang nakakatuwa pa sa kanya is that kapag in-spray nyo siya, as in parang bumababang ganun sa face nyo or sa skin nyo yung mismong mist, which is thumbs up ako to. Next naman ay itong si Sun Mist. Ito guys, nagustuhan ko yung spray nozzle din niya, like itong si Beauty Mist. Very fine din siya, pero ang kinagandahan lang nito is that kapag nag-dispense siya ng product, widespread talaga siya spread out talaga yung pag-dispense ng product, which is thumbs up na thumbs up ako. Next naman nating pag-uusapan ay yung kanilang finish. First ay itong si Lux Organics Hydro Firming Mist at saka itong si Skin Mattifying Mist. Ito kasi guys, it claims na nakaka-mattify talaga siya ng face or ng skin. So definitely, matte yung kanyang finish. Ito naman guys, si Hydro Firming Mist. Nang napansin ko sa kanya, since na-absorb siya ng maigi ng face, halos nagmamatify na din yung mukha ko pero nafe-feel ko na namamoisturize din niya kahit papano yung aking skin. This too lies more on the parang matte side. Next naman guys, itong mga products na to, they are more of a dewy finish. Sa kanilang lahat, ang pinaka-minimal lang yung dewy finish ay itong si BLK. Tapos yung middle naman ay itong si Sun Glow. Yung tamang-tama lang yung pagka-dewy. And then, kung gusto nyo naman talaga ng extra oomph yung pagka-dewy ng inyong skin, ay itong si Beauty Mist. So again, lahat sila dewy finish may pagkaiba-iba lang sila ng level. di ba usong-uso yung mga glass skin effect ngayon, yung mga dewy, glowy skin. Ayan guys, so ito yung mga products ng face mist na para sa inyo. Itong tatlong to, gustong-gusto ko sila kasi yung pagka-dewy nila sa aking skin, hindi siya yung dewy na dugyot o yung dewy na parang lapot ka na. Ito yung dewy na healthy looking yung iyong skin, na talagang glowy siya. Hindi siya yung grease balls, yung itsura ng mukha niya. Now, let's talk about yung category ng pagiging lightweight, fast-absorbing, and tackiness. So, sa kanilang lahat, itong dalawang to, fast-absorbing sila, and also, hindi nyo na kailangan maghintay ng ilang minuto para mag-set sa inyong face. Also, lightweight lang din itong mga to, at saka hindi sila taki sa pakiramdam. Like, kunyari, after a minute, kapag ginawakan nyo yung mukha nyo, wala na kayo mafe-feel. As in, napakagaan lang niya sa skin. Since ito yung may pinaka-minimal na pagka sa kanila, ito yung pinaka-fast-absorbing sa tatlo. And also, hindi siya tacky sa feeling. Like, 
parang a couple of minutes after matuyo talaga yung face ko with or without makeup. Hindi na siya tacky sa feeling. Like, pag hinawakan ko, wala na rin akong maramdaman. So, ako, as having a dry skin before and now, meron akong combination skin. Itong si Sun Mist, mas fast absorbing siya, mas lightweight siya, and mas less yung pagkatake niya as compared as itong si Beauty Mist. Ito kasi, guys, hydrating talaga siya. Tsaka, glowy talaga yung finish niya. So, kapag in-apply niya siya, hindi nyo naman mafe-feel na mabigat yung face mist sa mukha nyo. Mafe-feel nyo na unti-unti naman siyang na-absorb ng skin nyo. Yun nga lang, it takes time to completely na madry siya. So, kapag hinawakan nyo siya, feel nyo na may unting tackiness itong si Beauty Mist. And now, for my recommendations, ito guys, base lang sa aking uh, mga na-experience and base lang din ito sa mga na-observe ko while using the products. So, first is, nandito siya sa phone ko, for skincare benefits na facial spray or face mist, definitely, I first tayo itong si Lux Organics na Hydro Firming Mist and itong si Skin Mattifying Mist. And also, itong si Sun Glow by Fresh na Sun Mist. If you're going to ask me kung ano sa kanilang dalawa, since syempre may price difference sila. This is 229, this is 299. Both of them may 100 ml, both of them made in Korea. Pareha sila may kanya-kanyang um, skincare benefits, pero para sa akin, ang winner ay itong si Sun Glow, sunod na itong si Lux Organics. Ito kasi guys, may SPF 50 to, broad spectrum siya, and malaking factor yun. Masalo na kung nasa Pilipinas kayo. Sobrang init at na-expose kayo sa araw. So definitely, for skincare benefits, this is the first, and this is the second place. Recommendations naman for a makeup setting spray, syempre, itong si Beauty Mist. Ayan. Ito kasi guys, bukod sa may skincare benefits siya, talagang it claims na long-lasting, hydrating, and glowing yung inyong magiging makeup kapag ito yung ginamit nyo. So again, best to use kung gusto nyo gamitin as your makeup setting spray and also plus skincare benefits. Go for Beauty Mist by Ant Plutes. Pero syempre, kung tatanungin nyo ako ano yung second place doon and third place, second place ay itong si Sun Glow by Fresh na Sun Mist. Kasi guys, ito nagamit ko na to ilang beses with or without makeup, okay siya kahit na may makeup ako. And next naman na itong si BLK. Ito kasi guys, purely, that will make also your skin looks like dewy. Again guys, hindi ko ma-recommend sa inyo tong dalawa kasi medyo aggressive nga yung kanilang um, spray nozzle or yung kanilang dispenser. Kaya, set aside ko sila for the makeup setting spray. Kung kaya nyong i-tolerate guys, yung pag-dispense ng product na to, it claims here na pwede nyo silang gamitin after your makeup. For overall guys na recommendation, to be honest, tayo tong dalawang to. Yung isa kasi guys, enriched with a lot of skincare benefits. Pero nagamit ko naman on top of my makeup. And yung isa naman, gusto ko talaga yung finish niya. So parang ito kasi may laban to dito kay um, yung favorite ko na L'Oreal Dewy Mist. Ito, ito guys, ito. So ito yung none other than tada itong si Sun Glow by Fresh na Sun Mist and itong si Lux Organics na Beauty Mist by Ant Lutz. Again guys, bakit sila Thai? Kasi ito, gusto ko talaga yung finish niya. And then, okay na okay siya sa akin. Um, wala akong complaint sa kanya as in, ang ganda ng skin ko. Healthy looking ang aking skin. Tapos, ito naman guys, meron kasi siyang SPF 50. Tapos nagamit ko din siya on top of my makeup. So, both of them, ito yung marirecommend ko. Yun nga lang guys, meron silang price difference. This is 379 pesos. This is 299 pesos. So, depende na lang sa inyo. For oily skin, na makeup setting spray, na may skincare benefits, go for the Beauty Mist. If you have dry skin din, go for this one. If you want extra, extra skincare benefits na pwede naman gamitin as your makeup setting spray too, you can go for Sun Mist. So, itong dalawa talaga guys, yung aking mai recommend Sa mga na-mention kong products pala guys, of course, ang pinaka-expensive ay itong si BLK. And also, this is only 60 ml. So, parang kung ako papipilian as a consumer, doon na lang ako sa mas madami pa. Tapos, mas madami rin yung skincare benefit. Again guys, all of the products that I mentioned sa inyo, magaganda sila, may kanya-kanya silang purpose. Um, tayo din as a consumer, may iba-iba din tayong gusto sa isang product, may iba-iba din tayong 
hinahanap sa isang product. So, depende na lang din talaga sa inyo. To be honest, guys, meron akong mga kakilala na hindi nag-work sa kanila yung ibang product na na-mention ko dito. May ibang product naman na nag-work naman sa akin. So, that's it for this video, guys. Sana natuwa kayo sa another comparison video natin and more to come with this kind of video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to and sana nagustuhan niyo itong video na to. And of course, if you do like this video, you can click the thumbs up button and if you want to get notified with my future uploads in this channel, you can click the subscribe or the bell button down below. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next videos. Bye!